Good morning. <clears throat> Excuse me. Good morning, fellow anglers and others. Others. Um, low tide. It's about low tide. It looks like it's still. I think it's still going out a little. It's hard to tell. Um, anyway, I'm gonna tell y'all a story. Paul and me went Saturday. Today's Monday. We rarely ever go on weekends, but the weather was really nice. Paul hadn't got to fish. He was he was really wanting to go, so me and him went. And man, we just caught a ton of fish. But but there were sharks and jacks. We caught them like crazy. And uh, I told Paul, I said, I'm not even gonna make a video, man. I don't want to make a video of me catching sharks and jacks. You know, so anyway, I came home and all that. So his brother came up. And they went yesterday and they went to the same place that me and Paul fished and they proceeded to just absolutely kill the speckled trout which is what I wanted to catch so I'm very upset that Paul would provide me with sharks uh, Paul's my, my friend on, uh, he's got a channel, it's Paul Retirement Adventures, if you want to watch Paul. But, uh, I don't know if I want you to watch Paul after the way that he just did me. He caught all those fish with his brother, made a, made a video about it, and then just, you know, kind of laughed at me. But, it's okay, because today I have a chance to go out and catch fish myself. Why do I need somebody? I, I don't need anybody. I, I'm going to go out here today. I'm going to be in the uh, Medway River, and I'm going. I'm, I'm going to catch me some fish somehow. I don't know how. I don't know what they're going to be. I don't know where they're going to be at, and I don't even know how to fish. So let's see what happens. That's my strategy today. Cold mine, moonshine. Moving on down the line. If I don't catch a fish, I'm moving. I'm not going to stay and stay and stay on spots. I'm already on my second spot. I just had a bite. I mean, I just lost a fish. So this one looks promising. Hmm. <laughs> No comment on the first trout that I caught after fishing for a long time. That's a little guy. That's what he is. Well, he's my first trout. Well, I just made a comment. I said no comment. By no comment, I meant, you know, not a lot of comment. Nice trout. I think I got him in because my line broke. My line broke because all of these crazy sharks. I think on Laverne and Shirley. I think on Laverne and Shirley it was uh, Squiggy that famously said, I attract women like a maggot. Well, I track sharks like a maggot, apparently. But, finally got that nice keeper. I have to put on my heavier sinker and float. Because they're snatching it. Might need to slow it down a little bit. Another keeper. Nice fat dude. Right. Keep trying. I'm not gonna give up, guys. I'm gonna keep trying. Yes, I am. Uh, 
Uh, Jack. Okay. Where are the trout? I think it seems like every time the trout try to get somewhere, the sharks run them off. That's what I feel like. trout I've caught, except the first one. It's been a nice trout, but they're few and far between. caught many but I've caught good ones it's kind of a weird day just a little slow but successful I'll have some fish in the freezer anyway because I was out out I'm down to these little bitty shrimp. So I got a little bitty hook and I'm putting two on at once. That's how I caught that trout. On my float rig with two shrimp. And they've really been spaced out. I mean, like I'll catch one and not catch one for 30 minutes or you know, they don't catch another one. They're not, you know, it's like they're not in a school at all. But I'll tell you what is in schools. Sharks. <laughs> I just skipped the shark catches for you guys. I didn't even video them. Yeah, they got the marina. Said they had a tournament yesterday and they wasn't the guys that won it didn't catch but three keepers. Or weighed in three keepers. I don't know how many they could weigh in. I've definitely outdone that. For sure. Both of those fish were right around that corner. Need to breath. Right there. Yeah, I'm definitely glad I caught the fish I did. You know, but being new here to the uh, Savannah area, Richmond Hill area, I'm still waiting on one of them days where I come out here and catch like 20 trout like I do sometimes at St. Mary's. But the weather this week is supposed to be good all week. So hopefully I'll be able to
get several trips, several videos. Let's go, baby shrimp. Hook me up, baby shrimp. Hook me up with a big trout. I guess those uh, little shrimp are kind of like crystal burgers. You can't always eat a Big Mac, but man, you can always eat a crystal. <laughs> you can eat two of them. <laughs> so I got two crystals out there for them. This is a two crystal meal. Two shrimp platter. Oh. Yes, sir. Two shrimp platter. Oh, this is a nice fish. Bully. Two shrimp platter, I'm on to something. There he is. Nice. I don't know if anybody ever told y'all in any of these videos y'all watch. These sea, speckled sea trout are slick. They are a slick fish. Hard to get a hold of. There he is. Another good one. I'm about out of these little baby shrimp. I gotta say, this is a unique pattern. I mean, these guys are little, little dudes. These aren't even crystal size. Well, if you're too full to eat two crystals, you need two french fry. Try this combo, crystal and order of fries. You never know what these fish are gonna eat. I mean, I've had times where we've caught them on cut bait, you know, dragon cut bait and stuff. I mean, you just, you never know. Until you know. When you know, you know, you know. <laughs> oh man, that was a good one. Come on, hungry trout. It went. I'll be daggone. If I didn't miss him again. Okay, guys, I gotta go. It's about 90 something degrees out here. My fish are starting to die in this live well. So I don't want my fish to go bad. Uh, that last little stop there kind of salvaged my day catching those fish. Those are some nice fish. I'm glad I caught uh, keepers today. So let's uh, get to the house. Let's get these fish cut up and in the freezer and hopefully do it again maybe tomorrow. Thanks guys.